Is Adelaide going to try to out Ezra as a fraud? She will if Ezra gets in her way. What are they whispering? They're planning something. Oh my gosh! He said yes to him! <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Regency series. So this is the first episode that's been released since the new season of Bridgerton came out, the first half of season three. Would love to know your guys' thoughts. I wish I was live right now so I could talk to you about it. I loved it. I won't give any spoilers for it. You haven't seen it yet, but I, first of all, costumes, amazing. It was just a lot of fun and I can talk about it a bit more later, but let's get started. So in this episode, we are having a garden party slash tea party. We are having it at the Oasis Springs Palace. I downloaded a different palace that is not quite similar to that in my series, just because the one in the series is a bit newer. So we can say this is one of the older palaces. We're having, it is from the Regency Romance mod, their social events. For the tea party, this is what it says in the description too. So it says, tea party, host an amicable affair with tantalizing teas and sophisticated treats and you're sure to be the talk of the ton. So this is at at the, again, Oasis Springs Palace. Oh, I do not know what glitch is going on there, but for the most part, it is back here. Um, and I'm going to serve some tea for the guests so they can all, let's see, steep tea, steep some oolong tea, and then steep some, we'll do orange blossom tea. Let's do that one. So we are still waiting for some guests to arrive. And in the last episode, we saw Emily, Princess Emily of Windenburg had gone on a date with Prince Neil of Willow Creek. And then Prince Neil's brother, William, showed up. And then it turned out that Emily and William ended up getting along even better. And then we also saw that Prince Sahar, Crown Prince Sahar, went on a date. Oh, they're all sitting around here. But went on a date with Lady Adeline. And he has formed a bit of a crush on her. But we're not sure she thinks the same about him. So it does look like since some guests are here, some of them are hanging out inside the palace. But I'm going to see how many guests we can bring out here. So we'll just call to meal. Um, so we're going to see if there's any... Additional things that happen, I guess, with Sahar and Adeline, if that's going to work out or not. And then I do want to focus back on Henry and kind of see what's going on with him. Oh my gosh, so Adeline is already here. There is a romantic relationship between them. Oh my god, talk about marriage. Would he do it already? There is Regency. Okay, what if he asks to court Lady Adeline? I'm so curious because we had Neil ask to court Princess Emily and it didn't work out because they didn't really have a high enough romantic interaction. But Sahar and Adeline do have a little bit of a romantic interaction. Oh my God, there's a ghost here. Duke Edward, I'm gonna ask you to leave. No ghosts here, sir, please. Ah, Sahar is now talking to Adeline and he's going to ask to court her so let's see how this goes he literally has this kind of like cringe look on his face and it looks like did she just say yes miss lady adeline willow has declined lord prince sahar's offer on courtship perhaps it was a lack of affection or perhaps prince sahar's prospects are lacking well we know that's not true she said no we know her goals are kind of to like get with a prince does she just like find sahar so awkward that she knows she doesn't want to spend the rest of her life with him is that it oh my god so what if she tries to court did she already try to court william what if she tries to court henry is henry here henry is here okay i'm gonna see how this goes so if she didn't want they already have a little bit of a romantic relationship from when he introduced himself to her. Well, we're gonna see if she like, for real, for real, confess attraction. She's gonna be super forward with him. I'm so shocked she said no to Sahar. Like, they have a pretty high romantic relationship. I thought she would say yes. He's also a prince. Oh my gosh, look at, at Queen Ingrid. Queen Ingrid slays so hard, I swear to God. Okay, oh my gosh, he literally just brushed Lady Adeline away. Oh, is it because she's in a group conversation with him? That could be why. He's feeling embarrassed. Flirt with Fan. Adeline's gonna flirt with Fan. Ezra is here. She's watching. I wonder if Ezra gets jealous. Oh my gosh, you need to get out of this group. Oh my gosh! Sahar got jealous! Prince Sahar was cheated on by someone he cared about and is in a jealous rage. How will he ever trust again? Embrace the change. 
Adeline made him jealous? Okay, where is he? Is he, he's not even nearby. Maybe he walked, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh no, he can, oh my God, y'all. Look at, okay, first of all, look at this. Look at the queen with her parasol. Literally, what a queen. Okay, look at this. Adeline is flirting with Henry, literally right here in front of Ezra, who looks irritated. I wonder if she's getting jealous. And Sahar can literally see from the window. Mm, did she plan to do this? Is she trying to make Sahar? I don't, y'all, I'm so, so lost. But Sahar wanted to court Adeline and she said no. But what kind of jealousy is this causing with Ezra? I, oh my God, pry. <gasps> what if she tries to pry Ezra for secrets? I'm gonna have her do that. And then what is Ezra thinking about? She looks irritated. She's feeling tense. Why are you feeling, t oh, simmering rage or feeling bitter about someone nearby. Wait, what are you, you and Henry have a little bit of a romantic relationship. I know it was feeling a little forced at one point, grudging after a fight and a festering grudge. He literally proposed to her and she was like, no, <laughs> excuse you. They're still grudging a little bit after a fight. So maybe that's why she's, okay, I'm sorry, what? Okay, Adelaide just discovered this about Ezra apparently. All of the kids in my neighborhood used to play hopscotch together for hours and hours. It got way too competitive. Friendships were forged and destroyed. Egos and sometimes shins were bruised and legends were made. One day I was facing Kenny. Who's Kenny? The most fearsome hopscotch opponent on the block. I kept a watchful eye on Kenny, and when he looked away for a split second, I fudged my hops a bit, making it a little easier for me. Thankfully, no one else noticed. I ended up winning and becoming the new number one hopscotcher in the neighborhood, and I was never dethroned. I'm still proud of that title today, no matter what. I don't know what I would do if anyone found out I was a fraud. Y'all, these are so detailed. They're hilarious. Oh my gosh, is Adelaide going to try to out Ezra as a fraud? She will if Ezra gets in her way. Oh my God, I still, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, so Adeline is walking away. Sahar is, oh, I thought he was just inspired. He's feeling very sick. Sad. And he's literally just kind of here alone. Oh my god, Adeline, literally, girl, you have some nerve. She's like watching him. Maybe she is messing with him. Okay, so some of the goals here is to serve tea. So I'm trying to have the princesses do that. They're kind of helping serve the tea. Or is it like, like make some tea and coffee? So I use the tea brewer, brewer, brew the tea set from the wedding stories pack. And then we also need to use socials from the etiquette skill. So I need to do that too. But I kind of just feel bad for Sahar. Oh, hi, Lady Ella. Oh my gosh, wait, okay, she's feeling a little bit paranoid right now. Also, this dress, look at her with the puff sleeves. They're like giant puff sleeves. They look so good on her. I'm curious, what's going on? Are you like tense? She looks worried. Oh, I think she's worried about something. Thank you for coming, maybe? Oh my God, is she okay? Oh, she's scared. Wait, what are you scared of? Actions control Sim. What are they talking about? She's paranoid. She is Lady Adeline's cousin. I can't imagine with a cousin like that. I mean, you either have to be unbothered or you live in hell. Like, I, I, I don't know. Wait, talk about sunny weather. Okay, she's feeling happy. She's not scared anymore. Discuss sad mood. Sahar is still a little bit upset about what he saw at Lady Adeline. Maybe she asks what's wrong. Oh, this is Adeline's mother. Hello, ma'am. Yep. Oh, you are also Ella's chaperone, I guess. Okay, Sahar, how are things? Oh my gosh, what happened? Sahar and Ella have a little bit of romance. <laughs> he moved on really fast. Their friendship is going at a much higher pace though, but really though, I can kind of see him telling Ella, like Ella was asking what was wrong and he told her what Adeline did and she's like, I'm so sorry, that's my cousin. She's, you know, a little crazy. <laughs> Okay, but also we do have to figure out because Henry, I think he has now learned to respect Ezra's space. He's like, okay, if you, oh my, wait, has he always had this? Wait, oh my God, 
Y'all, the princes keep like liking the same girl. Didn't they go on a date? What if he asks Ella to just be friends? Because we don't want this to be left up in the air. I don't think things really worked out well with Ella, especially because Henry's like, he's like such a rake and Ella is unflirty. So I don't think things are going to work out and maybe he's like growing. Why is this say a romantic thing? Con Wait, no, you were about to confess your attraction to Lady Ella? Did you do it? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm going, no, 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 no. Okay, no, ask her to just be friends. You can't, you can't leave this romance up in the air. Ask her to just be friends. Oh my God, he's feeling very flirty. Okay, now he's asking now he's asking her to just be friends. Also, Adeline's mom is seeing this too. She's like, "Wait, I want you to marry my daughter." Oh my god, this is this is too much. This is literally just like switching fighting for attentions of the princes. You know what? Did we have the conversation though of him like respecting Ezra's space? I think he's been thinking about it. All right, we're gonna do this. We're going to have Henry talk to Ezra. I think she's st I mean, we saw she was pretty tense about him before and he's she's like i really don't want to talk to you and he's like can please just hear me out let me i i just just want to have a conversation i'm not gonna ask you to marry me again <laughs> please can we just talk and she's like all right whatever fine all right tea party complete we're gonna hang out here a little bit longer though we'll say it's been going on a little longer so ezra and henry are staying late from the tea party it's actually so pretty early on in the day okay so henry is about to talk to ezra now he's feeling flirty just by being with her from scandalous thoughts oh my god she's feeling flirty too magnetic personality from socializing with a rake you were just holding a grudge against him unresolved conflict from feeling better about someone nearby okay that is it so she's feeling flirty but she also is holding a grudge against henry but henry's like listen i just want to talk to you i think henry's going to apologize for the way he acted around her like you know asking her to marry him when they're, they're not even together. <laughs> but she is still holding a grudge, so I wonder if she's like a little bit sassy with him. She's feeling flirty, so I wonder if she's trying to like fight that back. But maybe they're like, let me see, stories, tell insider story, drama by she, argue about relationship. Okay, okay, let's do that. Argue about your your whatever the relationship is. I'm so curious what they're going to say just saying like, okay You know what? Thank you for apologizing But like you asking me to marry you like you you're gonna people are already talking I feel like Adeline's keeping a close eye on them too and very much Okay, clearly Adeline is not going for Sahar. She was trying to go for Henry for a bit so maybe that's what she's trying to do, society gossip. Be like, people are gossiping, Adeline's spreading rumors, like you, you, you are way too much trouble than you're worth. Ezra's like, I, I need to get married. I'm like, with what is she? Wealthy landed gentry debutante member of the ton. She's the incomparable. Is this like a Daphne situation where like she was the incomparable? She was getting a bunch of like people calling on her and like suitors. And then this whole stuff going on with Henry. Now there's like rumors flying around about them. I don't know, maybe like, oh, the prince was interested in her and then now he's not anymore and that's like raising, raising questions and, and they're like, well, why isn't the prince interested in her anymore? Like, she's like, you are, you're, you're scaring away my suitors, <laughs> essentially. So maybe Henry is like, okay, we could either go two ways here. We could be like, and I'm getting the ide these ideas from Bridgerton, we could either do the fake relationship and he's like, I can, what are they whispering? They're planning something. All right, they're planning something with us. Like we can do a fake relationship so you are more desirable. So people don't think that I just like suddenly, oh my God, he's flirting with her. Hold me closer. Ezra likes physical intimacy. Okay, okay. Sure. I'm not even telling them to do anything. I'm kind of curious what's going on here, but either they do like a fake relationship. You could be like, okay, okay. Like, I mean, I know you can't stand me really, but if people are talking because they thought I was interested in you and now that I'm not, what if I just pretend that I still am interested in you? And then it could be like a fake relationship situation. Or we could do a season three of Bridgerton situation and it can be like, what if I help you find a suitor? In both ways, it's helping her find a suitor. Like clearly, you know, if you're 
you're, if you're not interested in me, she's like, I can't stand you. And he's like, okay, fine. Then I'll, I'll help you find someone if that's what you need to do. She's, I feel like, perfectly charming though, Ezra is. So I don't know if she necessarily needs the like lessons in a sense, but they're like plotting here. They're coming up with something that can, you know, help help both of them out. Or honestly, this is really just helping Ezra out. I feel like Ezra's like, okay, well, what are you getting from this? And he's like, I just want to make it up to you. I just want to like, yeah, now he's walking away. I'm just gonna make it up to you for overstepping, for asking you to marry me when I shouldn't have like that kind of thing. And she's like, okay. When I feel like Henry is truly very enamored by her, I mean, we said that. Like, he he really does find Ezra very interesting. Oh my god, this is hilarious! Okay, so Henry literally has a huge crush on Ezra, and Ezra has, like, a grudge against him. But he's like, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll help you. I kind of like the fake relationship idea. If you guys have other suggestions, let me know, and we can kind of go with it. But I kind of like the, re re the fake relationship idea. I like that it's a little bit different different from the first season of Bridgerton, but then we'll see how he actually feels when she does end up with someone. Okay, but other note, I did kind of want to see what was going on with Emily and with Prince William. It is getting a little bit dark, or at least the sun's going down, so let, let, me, let me go transfer houses and switch houses to them. Okay, so I want to play this from Emily's point of view because she is the one who's a little bit unflirty, but there's a little bit of a roommate of a romantic relationship, like the tiniest bit. So we're going to do a chaperoned date. We will say that William is the one who asked her. Date one, Emily. Date two, William. Chaperone your mother or your brother. What if Henry chaperone? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that. Let's have it here. That's fine. Hello, good sir. Discuss interest. Henry, are you and Will- Okay, you guys are both kind of close. How does Henry feel about this? They're both part of the Gentleman's Club, Henry and William. He's seen William flirting with other women and now he's like, okay, no. Are you serious about my sister though? Like, I need to make sure because my sister is not like the other women you've been with. Oh my God, is she gonna try to flirt with him? I kind of want to see how the- Oh, it's an awkward encounter though. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, what is this? What is this? Hug someone from being gloomy. Princess Emily is looking for a sweet, loving embrace from someone special. <gasps> Affection, awkward hug, is that it? Oh, someone also said they think that Emily could be demi-romantic, which I actually- could very much see. So that is a very strong possibility. How interesting. Princess Emily really enjoyed hearing at Prince Welly William talk about his interest. Yeah. I mean, they're having good conversations. I'm a little bit scared for William to ask to court. I feel like he wants to ask to court her, but like he doesn't want to be too forward about it with her. What if he just offering a rose is too romantic? Compliments, give pep talk maybe. Ooh, Prince William and Princess Emily just became good friends. Oh my God, Duke Emmett is here. Wait, was she dancing with Duke Emmett? Wasn't she? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea if Emmett is here to court Emily. <laughs> oh my God, first kiss. They could do a first kiss. Did he just ask her to dance? They're just outside dancing with no music. That's so romantic. And my, maybe awkward, but whoa, look at the moon. Y'all, excuse me? Why is it so massive? Why is the moon so massive? I am, I am like in awe. I am so in awe right now. Okay, oh my God. They're just, he's literally dancing with her in the moonlight. He's feeling very playful. Also a special connection. He's really feeling things for Emily, for feeling close with someone nearby. All right, I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to ask Emily if we can court her. They got the first kiss option, so like I'm assuming it's high enough. Let's see, ask to court. What is she, what is she gonna say to this? He's asking to court her. She's singing to him. Oh, wait, did she say yes? Oh my gosh! Prince William Willow has entered into a courtship with Princess Emily. She said yes to him. <gasps> 
I'm actually shocked. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't sure if, it, if they were going to, but oh my god, they've officially entered a courtship. So if all goes well, we might get a proposal soon. Hold on, I just, just, I just was curious, wanted to check sentiments. I've never seen this. Opposites attract enamored sentiment. Opposites attract Princess Emily has romantic feelings for Prince William, even though they are very different sims. Also, William is deeply in love with her and they're growing closer from quality time. Oh my God, I didn't know he was in love with her. <gasps> Okay, so I'm having the queen read the papers. I wonder if if she really likes gossip and tea and this is something she's super interested in. Oh my god! It's difficult to host a tea party as stunningly boring as the one hosted by the Sioux family this week. For those who couldn't make it, you can rest assured that you did not miss nothing of import. Oh! My god, is it because we got a bronze medal? Oh, I don't think they're happy about that. Also, I feel like Isla would take offense to that. I mean, that's like literally her her family. Like she's an Oasis Springs princess, technically. <laughs> My mind is blown. That is so savage. Okay, maybe next time there will be some information about the courtship of William and Emily. But I think we're gonna end the episode here. Okay, we had a good amount happen. Definitely would love to hear your guys' opinions. I think I'm like, I like the direction where Henry and Ezra's relationship kind of like their stories going. And then now Emily and William are in a courtship and then Sahar, poor Sahar, is getting his heart broken left and right. So we'll kind of see what's going on with him in the next episode too. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.